is hopefully everyone is fine in this video we are discussing the concept of class templates so in the previous video we discussed the concept of uh, function templates uh, where a function basically takes uh, the value the template that takes the value of a particular data type that we want to feed in in class templates what we are going to do we are again going to use the concept of uh, template uh, class t and over here this uh, this t uh, basically will take the data type that we want to use in our class so if i want to use two data types i will write class t comma class ty it's a very simple concept that if we are creating a class uh, accordingly just see the example we are writing template class t so i have mentioned that i'm going to use a t data type that can take any data type that you want to use while declaring an object right so the moment you create a class a right so it has two data members so two data members are declared as t space a semicolon and t space b semicolon so it means i'm using only one data type which is t and t is uh, having a particular data type which will be given in the object so we have declared two variables uh, in public section i let's say i create a constructor so i create a construction with a and it is giving t x comma t of y and your a is given x value and b is given y value and we are displaying a as well as b right so this is how i complete the class as well as its constructor in the main the moment i write main i'm going to declare an object and the class object is declared as class name then i will mention the data type that i want to give it to t so if i want to give the data type int i will give int and i'll declare object and since i used a parameterized constructor where i've passed two arguments so i'm passing two arguments 2 comma 3 over here the moment i write this particular line the object gets created and uh, this template t gets this particular integer uh, data type so int a so t will become it behaves like integer so i'll declare t a and t b as int a and int b this t is also going to get the integer data type so a value will be given as x value and 2 and 3 are passed so 2 is passed to x 3 is passed to y and we are displaying the values as such this is how your uh, class template behaves and it will display 2 and 3 class template also works in a similar way you, the moment you declare template class t it takes the data type uh, as t whatever data type that you give while declaring an object that will be given to this particular t and uh, hence the values can be calculated as such so this is known as uh, class templates there is another kind of a concept which is uh, class template uh, with inheritance so guys a uh, class template with inheritance is also a, a particular concept that uh, is used nowadays so how we uh, we basically use the moment we declare a base class let's say i'm writing template class t and i declare a base class class let's say a base and i declare variables as t a and b and i use a constructor uh, where i am giving a as 3 and let's say b as 5 and i'm displaying c out a b so this is uh, one class i have created now another class i'm going to uh, create it let's say template class uh, t1 and i'm creating for class derived class derived class derived and uh, i'm uh, inheriting class base publicly right 
and I am uh, writing T1 since I've used T1. So I'm basically mentioning T1. This is for the class templates with inheritance. This is, uh, is supposed to be written. And hmm, let's say it has two variables such as uh, T1, let's say A1, comma B1, although you can use A and B because that is what uh, which is derived as the scope of this class and uh, in public section over here guys one important thing you have to mention public section because constructors are always declared under public section public and i'm writing uh derived t1 x t1 y and a1 is given as x uh, b1 is given as y and i'm displaying C out A1 as well as B1. So I am closing this particular class and uh, the moment I declare an object main. So I have to mention the data type to it. So obviously we are using a derived data type. So derived data type is used and I'm mentioning the integer data type that will be transferred to this t1 and t1 will get integer value and i'm writing obj1 as 5 comma 6 right and uh, obviously the moment i write this particular statement uh, object 1 uh, 5 comma 6 uh, obviously the moment you declare derived class object base class constructor gets called first right so it will display three and five the moment of the uh, base class constructor gets called after that derived class constructor gets called five is given to x and six is given to y a1 is given uh, five and b1 is given six and it will display five and six also without any space so we'll have the answer of three five five six this is how we have uh, used uh, class template in inheritance where t1 uh, is uh, uh, the template which is given to derive class and which is integer in size and uh, uh, similarly uh, your t also gets an integer uh, and uh, because uh, derived class is inheriting from base class so this is how it works out so if there is any kind of problem in this uh, kind of question, you can always ask. Uh, if you like this video, kindly like, share, subscribe. If you have any doubt, kindly put it in comment section. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you very, very much for your support.